Praise the Lord, Sister Jasmine. Um, I understand Apostle said you have a testimony of something that happened to you, something that happened on Friday night at the healing and deliverance service. We just want you to tell the world about what is, you know, what the Lord has done for you and what he showed you. Um, well, what the Lord had showed me first off on Friday was Apostle gave a powerful word. And she said the difference between Christians and people that are in, I mean, sorry, people in the church and people that are in the world. And she said that people in the world have the mindset of, you know, to succeed. They understand how to master things, but their heart's not right. So they obtain so much in the world. But as people in the church, we have our heart right, but our mindset isn't right. And that really had stuck out to me. And I ended up going to a work seminar. And when I went to my work seminar, the biggest thing that they spoke on was mindset. So you went to this work seminar after the, you went the next day? I went on Saturday. Right, so then she told you this on Friday. Yes. So you went on Saturday. The next okay. day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what had stood out to be so powerful was they were all about pressing and persevering through every obstacle. And yet they didn't know God. And yet they know how to succeed, how to get through everything. And one of the biggest descriptions was um, the birthing process. Always in Christ we hear that you're going to give birth and that God is birthing something out of you. So they said that, you know, in the process of giving birth, the person, you're in pain, you're hurting, you're in agony, but you're in the biggest place for such a great blessing in your life. And that, but you have to go through so much pain to get that great thing. And yet the funny thing about it is, is that in that process of your hurt and your emotion, the doctor is telling you, push. The doctor doesn't care about how you feel, but the doctor is saying, push. And the Lord has spoke to me, that's Dr. Apostle Wallet Wallace. That's my apostle. My doctor, my spiritual doctor is telling me to push this thing forth. Yet the people in the world know how to push and manifest things. But as Christians, we can't manifest the things for God. And I said, wow, that was such a life changing thing because she said that we have to, in all things, we have to do things in a balance. So how do I keep the mindset to be of the, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. And God said, I'm putting you in a place of understanding balance. I'm going to change your mindset. But yet I'm going to keep your heart right so that you can flourish and that you can flow. And that all those things that said that you said that, you know, dreams, things that, you know, you said, no, I can't get it. God's like, you can have it all and it will happen. And I said, this is, I told Apostle, and she said, this is a great testimony because we're always able to, you know, let something afflict us and stop us from moving and progressing. And in the world, it may be your business, it might be in your home life, it might be in your family, and yet something has came in and you've allowed it so much to come in that you might still be going through the process. Either you fall and then you, you just got a hard time getting back up. But they said also, they said, sometimes people get up, but they're still on their knees. You're not back in the full motion of like Habak, be ready and run with the vision. If you are, you got to get back on your feet and set a change and get your mind right. Make a change, change your surroundings, change your atmosphere so that you are able to make this run. Get the vision reassessed. So you're saying that um, you heard the voice of God. So the Bible says that his word is confirmed by two or three witnesses. So by you hearing the word of God on Friday night versus hearing him again on Saturday, then that means that the voice of God was speaking through our apostles. Is that what you're saying? Yes. It's a true prophet in this house. Well, praise God. Well, we thank you so much um, for extending your, your testimony to us. And we just want the world to know that God is an awesome God and that God is truly speaking here at Faith in Action Deliverance Ministries. We thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. God bless.